Woe equals masculine. Wow equals feminine. Um, but isn't this you? Ah, wow, that's great, man. Yep, he blocked them. <laughs> oh, I love when people do stuff like this and they forget that they had posted something that just totally disproves the point they were trying to make, or in this case, makes them feminine. How could a word wow versus woe be feminine or masculine? That's not how it works, dude. What's going on, modern chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash gatekeeping. Let's get into it. No airbags. We go out like real men. Oh, yeah, real men can't be safe and, you know, want to be there and alive for their friends and family. No, no, no. Real men just have to be tough. And they just survive that 80 mile an hour semi truck. Yeah, real men for the win. But LGBT people like sports too. Nah, y'all are cishet in my eyes. I'm not in a community with no jocks, LMAO. What does this even mean? And I'm kind of proud of myself for being able to figure out that that says cishet and not like cishet. Because, you know, that's originally what I thought. And I was like, what is this saying? Cishet, bro. I'm a genius. WandaVision, MCU fans, real Marvel fans. I don't even know what this one means. I guess I'm not with the times. I don't know this show. Sorry if this is super popular and I'm just an old man, but yeah, I don't understand this one. You guys are going to have to explain how it's gatekeeping in the comments. I'm guessing that, I don't know, this WandaVision, some sort of company, and they're saying it's better than Marvel. I don't know, dude. It's, ugh. This is not coffee. This is coffee. No, they're definitely both coffee. It's just one's strong and one's not as strong. But it's definitely still coffee. No, it's not coffee. Then what do you call it? Oh, you, you also call it coffee. Okay, interesting. Another coffee gatekeeping one. What's with people in gatekeeping coffee? I just, I don't get it. If you don't drink black coffee, you don't like coffee. You like the idea of coffee. No, they, they don't like the taste of black coffee, but they do like the taste of coffee with cream. Wow, that's interesting. It's almost like saying, oh, uh, if you don't like pop, but you drink diet soda, then you don't like pop. It's like, uh, okay, dude. Yeah, I don't like the same version of pop that you do, but we both still like a very similar thing. What, what do you get out of saying this? So, oh, 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 I take my coffee black, so I'm more of a man than you. Is that really what this all boils down to or or what? Because I really don't see any reason behind going, oh, well, your stuff has cream in it. You really don't like coffee. No, they like coffee just as much as you do. Just a different version. Y'all are a bunch of fake emos. Um, are y'all even sad, <laughs> LMAO? Is that what emo is all about? Is it just sad? I thought it was like dressing dark and stuff, or am, am I mixing that up with goth? I don't know. Either way, dude, if somebody just wants to go, oh, I'm emo, why do you have to come at him so hard? Like, oh, you're not emo, you're too happy to be emo. It's like, dude, you don't know if they're happy or not. They might just look happy and actually be sad, if that's even what emo means. But again, I don't know, so I could be completely wrong. I'll let the NBA slide, but man, are really in the UK pretending to be NFL fans because the Super Bowl is on? Talking about Tom Brady the GOAT? He done it again? Uh, yeah, people from other places are allowed to enjoy American football. It's kind of interesting that you wouldn't want them to enjoy the same sport you enjoy. If you enjoy it so much, wouldn't you want to spread that joy to other people? And wouldn't you be happy that other people are taking up your sport? I, I don't get this. Like, oh, you're not a true fan. You, you only watch the Super Bowl. It's like, well, can you even name all the players on the team? It's like, no, dude, I'm just watching the game because I thought it'd be fun to watch. But, you know, if I have to deal with people like you every time I want to watch it, yeah, maybe I'm not going to watch it. Oh, and then what do you know? Enough people do it. And now football is not a thing anymore. Interesting how that works. 
Dub is absolute garbage and cringe. The only anime that's worth watching is subbed anime. And loving dubbed anime means that you don't have any culture to true anime. But why? Why? Just because I don't feel like reading my show means I'm not a true anime fan? I get it. It's not the fully original version, but you know, it's a more enjoyable version to me. And it's either that or I don't watch any anime. So take it or leave it. Actually, I don't care if you take it or leave it because I don't watch shows for you. I watch them for my enjoyment, not for yours. So actually you can kindly go straight over there and stop bugging me. PSA, you aren't a man if your bulge is smaller than your bicep. Um, but what if my bicep's like 18 inches? Then I'm only a man if it's 19 inches? I mean, geez, dude. Good morning, blue collar boys. If you aren't blue collar, go to sleep, you broke bum. But you do realize a lot of people that aren't blue collar, you know, either can't work this early or better yet, are way, way more rich than you, but you know, they don't, they don't flex their money in your face because they realize the job you do is also important. You know, it's not always about, well, I work harder than you and I make more than you. So I, I'm a better person. I'm worth more because you know, if a rich person went to you and said, Psh, blue collar, are you kidding me? You know, the kind of backlash there would be. So yeah, let's not do the same thing to the other people who are just minding their own business. People have different jobs in different fields and they're all necessary. Otherwise, they wouldn't be jobs. Until you've counted little fingers, little toes, held a little hand, kissed a little nose, read to little ears, powered a little booty, wiped away little tears, you haven't known love. Click like if true. Yep, that was my sad attempt at turning that into a rap halfway through. But if you guys didn't enjoy that, you can also tap like just like this says because at least I tried. And also, yes, I can love without having a child. In fact, I love my parents, but I, I don't have a child. Now I'm sure if I do have a child, then I'll love them differently than I love my parents. But I don't think that means I can't love my parents or anybody else. It's probably just a different kind of love. But, but I guess I, I just don't know because I don't have kids, so I can't even speak on it. All right, Matter Chodes, that's it for the hot posts from r slash gatekeeping. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below and do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.